What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Chloe. If you're new here, hello. Thank you for coming and watching. So today's video is super fun. Um, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, like my followers ask me questions video and this one's somewhat related. So this is an assumptions video. If you haven't heard of these, Basically, I put like the question sticker on my Instagram story and my followers made assumptions about me that they felt were true. So today I'm going to go through those assumptions and address whether or not my followers were right and whether or not those assumptions are true. Okay, so this is actually going to be super fun because there are some funny assumptions out there um, and I realized that my followers don't know me very well. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but you're all going to get me to know me a lot better because I don't think I'm who you think I am. Yeah, crazy stuff. Okay, so I have all of the assumptions right here. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna try not to make this video super duper long. Um, so I'll try to answer them as fast as I can and get through as many assumptions as I can because this is really fun for me at least. Okay, I hope you like this video. Let's get to the assumptions. <sighs> I swear my do dogs only chew bones when I'm recording videos. Okay, <laughs> so this is the very first assumption that came in and I died. I told my boyfriend about it and he literally laughed hysterically. So assumption number one, you may get frustrated at people but never truly mad or angry. You guys, oh, this one killed me. As soon as this one came in, I was like, okay, my followers don't know me very well. Um, Yeah, so I get very angry a lot, as my boyfriend would probably tell you. I wish he were here so that he could back me up on that. Um, No, I actually do get pretty angry, and my family is a very loud family. Um, I think it's like our Italian genes, but we don't talk, we yell. So like when my boyfriend goes to my house to visit, he's like, you guys just have the loudest talking voices I've ever heard. But I also get very mad too. Um, I've gotten very angry at my boyfriend. I've gotten very angry at my family. Um, Yeah, I get mad. Like, I, I don't just get frustrated. It's actually very seldom that I get frustrated without getting very mad. Um, sometimes I have a pretty short circuit, so. I wish that were true, though. I wish I were as nice and mellow as everyone thinks I am. Whew, okay. Okay, the second one. Your family has money. Woo, that could not be further from the truth. Actually, this one was like four people assumed that. No, I do not come from a family with money by any means. Um, I've had a job since I was 12 years old. When I was 12, I got a paper route in town and delivered papers to a neighborhood in my town for $20 a week. Um, and I remember specifically that I got that, like I started looking for like paper routes because A, I was 12 and I knew I couldn't get a real job and B, I asked my mom for money to go to the movies with my friends and she told me no. And I was like, you know what? I want my own money. I wanna be able to do things with my friends. So I'm gonna get a job. So I've been working since I was 12 years old. Um, once I was 14, which is like the legal age to get a job in Iowa, I worked at an ice cream shop until I was 16 and I have been working ever since. Like I've never not been working. Even when I was playing division one soccer, I was still working um, because my parents, they, they were able to give me everything I needed and a few things I wanted. But if there was anything like clothes wise or materialistic wise that I wanted, I had to pay for myself ever since I was in high school. Um, so yeah, I do not come from a family with money. This one's kind of related to it. Um, you do pretty well for yourself and that's why you can afford to buy all these fancy gym clothes. Kind of true, yeah. Um, so I worked my butt off in college and had like four internships, two jobs, and I built a really good resume for myself in college. So I was very fortunate to get a job that pays pretty well like right out of college. Um, and the fact that I live with my boyfriend, we split all of the bills. So that definitely helps because I don't have to pay for like rent and bills all by myself since we split them. Um, so, and then also my Instagram, I'm monetizing my Instagram and my YouTube now. So I am doing well. I'm not rich by any means, um, but I can afford to buy myself nicer things now that I'm out of college and have a full-time income, but I'm not rich. And my family is not rich, so. A lot of people assumed that my family was rich and I'm just blown away by that because it's funny to me because if anyone knew me in high school, those of you who did know me in high school, I don't come for money. Okay, next assumption. You're a naturally thin person. Kind of true, yes. Um, I've never been overweight or like struggled really 
with like weight gain. Um, actually, ironically, when I was a freshman in college, our weight coach had us lifting like the football team. So I put on a lot of muscle really fast. So I did struggle with like losing muscle because I did not like the way I looked. I was way too muscular like for my personal like, hey! Um, but I've always been able to like eat what I want without like gaining a ton of weight. Um, like even my family talks about it all the time. My mom's like, how can you eat all this ice cream? Because I, in high school, I literally ate ice cream seven days a week. Like it was not protein ice cream, you guys, like real ice cream. But I am naturally a thin person. I think I have a very high metabolism and I don't think I ever lost my high metabolism since I was like, kids usually have high metabolisms and I definitely did because I was so athletic as a kid. And then when I grew up and went to college, I never stopped working out. I never developed like bad eating habits. Like I never under ate or anything like that. That. So I think my metabolism has like stayed pretty high since I was a kid. Um, next one. I assume you're hella smart. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this one's kind of like hard to answer because I'm like, yeah, I'm really smart. I'm like the smartest person ever. You know, like how do I talk about that? But I, I am smart. I, I'll put my humility aside. Yes, I am a smart person. In college, my academic scholarship was actually a full ride tuition. Um, and I earned that because of my ACT scores and my GPA from high school. So I do, I am smart, yes. I'm not like math and science smart though. Like I don't think I could ever be a doctor, but I'm very like strategically smart and and I just love learning. So I've always loved school. And yeah, so I, I think I am pretty smart. <laughs> That's so awkward to talk about. Okay, next one because I feel weird. You're always down to make new friends. Absolutely, yes. But I will say that like, as I get older, my anxiety gets worse. So it's actually harder for me to make friends now because I get like social anxiety more, but I am always down to make friends. I love making new friends and I am always down to make friends, but I'm not very good at it. And I've realized that only since I've like moved to Denver because um, I've met a lot of girls in my apartment building and they're all super nice, but I'm just so bad at like making friends because I get so like anxious about it. I don't know why. I am always down to make new friends. Yes, <laughs> this one kills me. You have a major shopping addiction. Yes, oh my God. Whew, it's bad, you guys. I love shopping. And I think that's partially because I've always loved shopping. And since I've been like paying for clothes and materialistic things for myself since I, for like, eight years now. Um, I take pride in the fact that like I'm buying it for myself. My parents don't buy it for me. I buy it for me. And it's just kind of fun. It's like a nice way to express myself. And it's also like my form of therapy. Anytime I'm feeling down or stressed or anxious, I shop, which is a problem because when you have anxiety, you're down and stressed and anxious all the time. But yes, I do have a shopping addiction. Next one. You're always very positive. Thank you. I like to think that I am. Um, I mean, I have my days, like I have anxiety, so I have days where I'm like just super blue and don't feel like talking or doing anything. Um, but I would say that 90% of the time I am very positive and I'm very goofy and loud and obnoxious. So I try to stay positive. Yeah, I like to think I'm always positive. Oh, this one's kind of fun. You prioritize bigger things over working out. Absolutely, yes. I have always said, and I always will say, I love working out. It is my passion, but it is not my life. I do not revolve my life around exercise and the gym because, because as much as I love working out, it's just, I think it's silly to make that the most important thing in your life. I love making memories with my friends and my family, and I will always go out to eat with them, get drinks with them, go on trips with them, eat all the calories with them over worrying about making it to the gym because the gym will always be there, but you can't ever make memories back. So yes, I do prioritize pretty much everything over the gym. Okay, next one, you're a kind person. <laughs> You guys are so sweet, oh my God. I mean, yeah, I like to think I am. I don't know, you'll have to ask people that know me. Ask people that know me in real life if I'm kind because I like to think I am, but maybe I'm not, I don't know. Okay, next one. You're proud of your body and you know you earned it. Yeah, so I will say, I'm gonna, full confession here, I used to make fun of people with fitness accounts. Like I was that person. I was like, oh, if you're working out, like why do you need to brag about it on social media? But then I started lifting and I got into the fitness world and like I started understanding and I realized that there's a huge difference between being confident and being conceited. And like the difference is like posting pictures of your body and everything and just like doing it like with the intent 
of making other people feel bad about themselves or like fishing for compliments. But then if you're confident and you know that like you worked hard for what you have right now and you post about it to like inspire other people to live a lifestyle similar to yours. And I think there's a huge difference between that. And it took a while of me like working out and being in the fitness community for me to realize that. So yeah, I am very proud of myself. And I know that I earned the physique I have now. And I think it's kind of fun to celebrate that. Okay. <laughs> Next one. You have a great sense of humor and can handle when others make fun of you. Oh yeah. I I will say that I have pretty thick skin. Um, when you grow up with two older sisters who just are constantly like making fun of you, you get used to it. But I do think I have a good sense of humor. I'm always laughing and being weird. Oh my God, these dogs. Um, yeah, but like I don't get like personally offended when people make fun of me. My friends are always making fun of me, which I get because I'm actually a super weird person. Any of my friends will tell you that. So yes, I can handle people making fun of me. I like embrace it because most of the time it's true. <laughs> okay, this one's funny. You begged to be with Vomar Nutrition. <laughs> I would have. I really would have begged. I would have gotten on my hands and knees and begged them to let me be an athlete. But no, um, it was actually really cool because back in October, I think it was, they posted like applications for athletes. And at the time I only had like 4,000 followers, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna apply. Even though I knew I wasn't gonna get it because I didn't have like a very large following yet. Um, I applied and I didn't hear back from them. And then about a month ago, I had Sadie. I had like 23,000 followers then I think. And I was like, you know what? My mom always tells me if you want something, you have to ask for it. Like nothing is going to be handed to you. Like people can't just read your mind and be like, oh, she wants to be an athlete. So I took my mom's advice. I reached out to Bormore Nutrition and I was like, hey, I applied like back in October, but my following's grown a lot since then. Um, I'd love to talk about becoming an athlete for you guys. And I literally almost pooped my pants because like almost immediately they responded and they're like, Chloe, yes, we would love to work with you. Let's talk about the details. And since then, I'm an athlete and it's honestly the greatest thing ever. I'm like, that was definitely the most exciting part of like this entire like social media thing because I've always loved a Bomer Nutrition. They're the only supplements I've ever used since like July. So it was honestly like a dream come true for me to be able to work with them. I didn't beg them, but I would have. Um, some of these are the same. Okay, this one is actually really funny because people that I'm friends with now, well this, okay, someone I'm friends with now said this one, but I've actually heard it from a lot of different people who have met me in real life. Um, Maisie, she's always in these videos. I'm sorry guys. Okay, Maisie, do you wanna read it? <laughs> you're stuck up not friendly towards other girls who may not be in your circle so I have been told this so many times especially in college um everyone thought that I was like stuck up and mean and I don't know why I don't know if I have like resting b-word face or what but I've gotten this so many times and it kind of makes me like concerned like what vibe am I giving off that girls think I'm mean or stuck up because I don't I don't think I am but <laughs> I don't know, maybe I am. But this girl I'm friends with now, she said, now I do know better and I know that you're not. Thank you. But I have gotten that a lot. And I like to think I'm not stuck up. Let's see. You really don't care what people think of you slash you're very confident. I would say that's true, yeah. That's a true one. But it took a long time for me to get here. So in high school, I cared a lot about what people thought um, and people weren't very nice to me, so that didn't really help situation. And then in college, I somewhat cared, but then I slowly over time like stopped caring because there will always be people who don't like you and who are set out, like make it their mission to try and bring you down and ruin your confidence. But I have slowly over time realized that those people don't matter in your life and what they say isn't true anyways. So yes, I am a very confident person now, I would say. Okay, these are so funny. So your Spotify playlist is fire. You guys, I am not a music person. Like I don't listen to music for fun. Like I have headphones in at the gym, but honestly like 60% of the time, there's no music playing. I just keep them in so that people don't talk to me. I'm sorry, I'm just socially awkward like that. But I don't listen to music. I actually have never created a playlist or anything like that. I just listen to like pre-made playlists on Spotify or the only playlist I listen to consistently is 2000s pop and classic rock. Those are the only two playlists I ever listen to. So I gotta say that assumption is not true because I don't even have a Spotify playlist. Um, you've had flawless skin most of your life. That assumption is true. People ask me about my skincare routine. It's super basic, but I also drink greens, bone more nutrition greens and collagen every day. And that definitely helps, but I've never had an issue with acne, knock on wood. 
Um, my mom has really great skin and I was genet genetically hashtag blessed to receive fairly clear skin. I mean, I always have like, I was it right now, but I've never had like bad acne like some people have to deal with, which I'm really grateful for. All right. Last one so that this video is not insanely long. You play video games and are the biggest nerd. I don't play video games. My boyfriend plays video games. He loves video games, but the only video games I've ever played are like <laughs> Mario Kart on the Nintendo 64, loved it. And Sims, I loved the Sims. I used to play for like eight hours at a time when I was in high school, um, but I'm not a video game person now. And then to address the nerd part, yes, I'm a total nerd. I love reading, I love learning. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think there's worse things in the world to be than a nerd. So yeah, I am a nerd. All right, you guys, that's all I'm gonna do for today. This was so much fun. Thank you to everyone who responded and made an assumption about me on my Instagram. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked this video and it gave you a better sense of like who I am as a person because not gonna lie, you guys don't know me very well. And that's my fault. I need to like post about myself more often. Apparently I need to post about me yelling more often because I yell a lot. <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video kept you entertained and it was fun for you to watch. And I love you all so unbelievably much. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you next time.